Welcome back. And today, these are my villagers. And today we're gonna be work, working on them. It's gonna be more chiller episode. But I got some things to show you. First, I built this villager farm, villager breeder. Because I was getting. I was running out of them very fast, so I had to do this basically. And then we'll probably like build underground water stream or something. Which can connect, connect them up here. And I built this iron farm. I didn't record it because I thought it might be boring. And I wanted to get done fast. But yeah, it's got good rates, and I built it because this type of iron farm is good for super flat. Otherwise, I would have built the other easier option, but the world is too short. Anyways, what we have to do next is get a new workstation, and then we can start doing the iron trades. Smithing table. This guy will be a toolsmith. I'm always out of trap doors. I have to secure this place so much. I did look into getting moss carpet, but... Why is that guy there? not night yet I have an idea for a secondary series I want to try like I'll still have the super flat world but I just yeah I think it'll be an interesting challenge I won't say anything about it but it might come by the end of this week. Hopefully. How did this guy get a different trade? Oh yeah. The Fletcher died or something. So then he got replaced with a new guy. Better give some of this food to these guys. It's just falling down. Okay. There, now they should be making babies soon.
build a small room here. And... Then a passageway leading towards the village or trading hall. I'm going to change it a little bit. way it won't get in the way of the expansion this way There, now if the villager is smart, he'll hop up here and then he'll be like, bro. <laughs> he'll get his lovely workstation. And he'll be the richest guy that ever lived. So this guy actually was a wandering trader. And then I guess he got killed. I don't remember that happening. I suck. I want to set up like a small section where the zombie can be. How it'll work is the zombie will be in a minecart, and then I'll just like put the rails where he has to go. Problem is, I don't know where he should go. I may build something like here or something. Zombie will stay here. I can't build it yet anyway though. I need glass. Villager. I've decided what we should do. I'm gonna start building a super smelter. Then I'll use it to smelt a ton of cobblestone and they'll still I'll start building my what's it called? I'll still I'll I will start building 
my starter base. Okay, let's see how much iron we need to craft 10 furnaces. We'd have 10 hoppers. Each of them is 5. That'd be 50 iron. And then we'd also need um, rails, which is 6 iron for 16. We need maybe like 2 stacks of iron, I think. Just do that much. We need lots of wood, though. And wood is the most annoying resource to gather right now, so. Let's go do it. Let's build it over here. I will most likely move this, but that's a long ways away. There, 10. Grab some cobblestone to make furnaces. There. All the drops will funnel into this chest. This is for the supply. So coal. Probably charcoal from trees again. And, um... The ones on top. We're gonna need more rails than I thought. Actually, I might have enough here. Okay, and then hopper minecarts. I'm just gonna have two. I'm already very poor. Okay, there.
What is that? Die slime. Okay. Now, how to do this? I think. Put the rail like that, and then... I'll have my chest like this. Hopper minecart will go under, I'll take out these, and then put them in here. I think. That's how it should go. There. There. Well, a while ago, I found a mine shaft over there. Past the stronghold. Yo, a chicken jockey. I don't know if I've seen that in vanilla survival before. That's neat. Well, as I was saying, there's... A chest over here. It's right there. Two chests, actually. They got a ton of mine carts. Or mine rails. Blah, whatever. You know what I mean? And yeah. I'm just going to take them. Because they're easy. Well, I, I didn't actually take them, but I took them now. They're easy. Rails and... I think I do need more powered rails than I said, so. No. How do you enable this? Oh, wait a second. There, that works. And, it, yo. Put these there. No. That defaulting is really annoying. Okay. There. It's been a long time since I built a super smelter. I hope this one works. If I'm right, it'll bounce off there, and then I'll go me come over here and bounce off there. But might just stop. It stops. There. Now it should work. Hmm. 
some charcoal in this chest. Oh yeah, it works. Slime. No oh, bet. Smelt some stone. There's okay, they're turning on. This is a good sign. It's losing. Yeah, I think it does work. For some reason, it's not dispensing them in the middle. I don't really know why that is. Oh, this one has a rail, that's why. That one is powered rail, I think so. Whatever, it doesn't matter that much. Well, it is working much faster than a normal one would, but I think I might expand in the future. Well, that's the end of the episode, so see you. Hopefully next episode we can start working on a big sky island. Get all these slimes out of the way, but see you.